I see you. I see you telling everyone that you're fine, that nothing is wrong, but the truth is you're feeling very anxious. Your world feels heavy, and this burden that you're carrying, it's hard to carry. You cry out to God and you ask Him, take it away. And yeah, there are moments that you feel like you're being swallowed up into the earth. I want you to know that God sees you too. The Bible tells us that He knows every single hair on your head. So my friend, He sees your anxious heart. He sees the sadness when you say, I'm okay. But inside, you're screaming, somebody please see me, and somebody please hear me. You wonder if anyone does. Here's the truth. He sees you in those moments at night. When the darkness is scary, and you cry yourself to sleep in your pillow, know in these moments, you are not alone The Holy Spirit is right there with you. Ask Him to be present. Look, the enemy has a purpose to steal, kill, and destroy. But you, my friend, have the power of the Holy Spirit in you to tell the enemy to flee. You have a God inside you who created the heavens and earth. He created man. He created the stars. And he created you. He knit you in your mother's womb. So stand up. Declare who you are. You are his beloved child. You are the one he gave his only son for. Put the enemy on notice that your God came to give you life and to give it to you abundantly. And you will survive this. God's word says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. Philippians 4, 6. My friend, I know it's hard not to be anxious, but turn the anxiety into prayer and gratitude and thanksgiving. Psalms 34, 17 says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord delivers, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all of their troubles. Look, I know that the world is heavy and there are troubles. But I encourage you to cry out. Don't hide from God. Cry out. Psalms 55, 12, cast your burdens on the Lord and he will sustain you. My friend, I know you feel alone in this moment, but your God is right there with you, holding your hand, sustaining you in this moment. My friend, he wants you to know what worries you. Don't hold it back. Be honest. Be real with God. Our lives are in the hands of God. It may not seem that way sometimes, but it's true. We don't need to worry about what we will do tomorrow or what might happen in the future because everything is already decided for us. We tend in our lives to ask the questions, what if, what if? My friend, that's just a tactic of the enemy. It's taken me a long time to understand that God is for me. That God is there with me. That God loves me. And now I realize that there's no reason for me to be afraid. Because whatever happens, I know that I will be fine. Because the truth is, nothing can separate me from his love. You can rest in that too. Nothing, please hear me, nothing can separate you from his love. 
God cares deeply for his children and is always there to provide comfort during difficult times. Look, he never promises us we won't have difficult times, but he does promise that he will be there right next to you, inside you, during those difficult times. Psalms 23, 4, Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. We might not understand this in our terms today, but when David wrote this, David was a shepherd. And the rod and the staff were used on the sheep to ward off evil animals that would destroy them, but to also pull them back into the flock. God is doing the same thing. I also want you to lis- learn to listen to, the, to God's still small voice of peace. Man, it's such a good practice to have peace in this messy world. I know there's chaos and I know we can't control what the world does, but we can have God's voice of peace. So the key to hearing God's still small voice is to be still and to wait on God. Now look, being still doesn't mean not doing anything. Being still means being intentional and finding those moments and just journaling or, or listening to worship music, just being still in his presence and waiting on him. The Bible tells us that we can find the Lord's peace when we are in him. And if you're a Christian, you're in him. When you are with him, and when you are for him. We must remain faithful and patient when it comes to hearing his voice. I think so many times we think that um, it's this loud, thunderous voice, but God is always speaking. And sometimes God is speaking in moments that are just funny. So know how he speaks to you. Know what that looks like and wait on him. Look, I know it's really easy to become impatient when we're waiting to hear from God. We may think, God's not going to speak to me, or I'm waiting too long for a response. My friend, trust him in the waiting time. I know waiting can be tough, but with God's help, you'll learn how to trust him during these challenging times. Sometimes, We simply need to just cry out the name of Jesus. The name that the demons feared. The name that the storm obeyed and the winds were still. I know waiting can be excruciating. You feel so out of control and waiting for that next step. But with God's help, you'll learn to trust him during these challenging times. You'll see his goodness and mercy in your life. You'll know that he's right there with you. Fear many times comes with an anxious heart. But my friend, I just want to remind you that God says, do not fear. He says it in Hebrews. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? God is my protector. When the words keep circling in your thoughts that God is not there or he will let something He'll let something harm you. Tell the enemy that my God says differently. My friend, you have this. You have this. And if you need prayer, please, please tell us in the comments. We want to stand with you. We want to believe with you. We want to see your anxious thoughts healed. Psalms 